Since Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse just came out, I'm gonna explain how I made this game that I created almost a year ago. It's called Spider Swinger. It's both on the App Store and the Play Store. Since I cannot update the original version on the App Store due to Apple very strict guidelines, check out the unlimited one. It's the updated version for the App Store. So it was around December 2021 and I was trying to make a Batman game since I'm a big Batman Arkham fan. But a massive movie was coming out and it was everywhere during that time. The Spider-Man No Way Home hype was unreal. There were rumors that the two previous Spider-Man are coming back. The GOAT Maguire and the Facebook co-founder guy who cannot save his girlfriend let alone New York. So since I also got influenced by the hype train, I couldn't focus on making the Batman game. And since I really like the Insomniac Spider-Man game, and since also at the time Insomniac Spider-Man was PlayStation exclusive, I decided I'll just try to make a Spider-Man game but for mobile, so everyone who doesn't have a PlayStation could try something similar to Insomniac Spider-Man. Well, at least I tried to make it similar. It was definitely a huge challenge for me, since Insomniac, a AAA game company, took them 3 full years not to create the full game but only for the swinging and here i am just a broke college student game dev newbie trying to replicate their game on his free time all by himself so the first thing i do of course is trying to recreate the swinging and i got right into it here's a short video i created a long time ago when i was making the swinging Oh yeah, and also when working with the physics, I found out that realistically Spider-Man, if following the rules of physics, shouldn't be moving forward, since the pendulum pivot isn't supposed to be in front of Spider-Man, but rather going towards the building. So after I created the swinging, I need to figure out which building to attach before shooting the web. Starting from the most obvious one, the building should be in front of the player. Then, we need to figure out the optimal range for the pendulum pivot. We don't want it too close and not too far either. Then lastly, it might not seem important, but we need to make sure the player is close to the ground. This is done in order to create a speed effect to the camera. Take a look at this old footage from the previous version of Spider Swinger, and compare it with the one that we have now. So this effect is known as the motion parallax effect. He called it the Parallax Entity. It occurs because of the way our visual perception works. When you're near the ground, objects that are closer to you appear to move by faster in your field of view rather than the objects that are farther away. So by being close to the ground, it will appear that everything is moving quickly, whereas if it's further away from the ground, it will seem to move at a much slower pace. Then, I need to create the map. Since I only have a programming background and I'm not a 3D artist, it took me some time to get the map and the buildings right. The first version of Spider Swinger uses these 3D models that I purchased from the internet. At the time, I was pretty much done with the swinging and I just wanted to put the game out. So I just released the game as is using these very simple 3D models. But since I wanted the game to look better than this, I tried to learn Substance Painter to create the building textures and model the 3D models using Blender all by my own. But as you can see in this version, the building was too big, the textures especially was really bad. So I just gave up on trying to create the 3D models by myself. Instead I continue just buying some 3D assets from the internet, the vertex count is going to be high, so I'll just re apologize it to reduce the vertex count. I remap it into a texture atlas, created some LODs, and put it into the game. So yeah, that's how I made Spider Swinger. I'm planning to make Phantom and adding the spider first comic book shader into my game, then making a video about it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss it.